in the area where we've got that little bit of residual narrowing. And uh, then I'll, I'll, we'll go ahead and we'll, uh, uh, turn it on and we'll make a pass or two through that area again, okay? All right, James, go ahead. All right, so you can see the change in the configuration of the little notch. You can actually hear the buzzing too. Okay. That's the motor spinning the, uh, spinning the little cutting blade. We're gonna bring it back. We're gonna spin it around so we get the opposite side of the vessel. That's exactly right. So you can see he's changing the aperture to the other side, uh, the little fenestration. And when he turns it on, the blade comes back, spins through the plaque and actually pushes the plaque hopefully okay. into the nose cone of that uh, little catheter. Right, let's just do a little follow up run right there. And uh, we're, we're administering during the course of the procedure, Scott, we did prior to uh, starting the atherectomy, and now we're, we're adding a little bit of heparin, which is a, a blood thinner that we give uh, intravenously or intraarterially during the course of the procedure to keep the blood real thin so that we don't ha add any propensity to, uh, to cause thrombosis or clotting as a complication of the procedure. Uh, Injury is one of the main reasons why people develop clots in the ar arteries or veins, and obviously we're, we are traumatizing the vessel, so we're very cautious to make sure that we, and that looks very nice, uh, that, we, that we keep the blood nice and thin so that that doesn't happen as a complication of our interventions, whether it be uh, angioplasty or atherectomy or, or even with stent placement in most cases. And we're going to, uh, again, kind of zero in on the, area of disease. Let's go ahead, let's really focus on that one. That's gonna be, that's the one that's really causing flow issues, is, is that one right in there. So let's go ahead and do a full strength contrast, do a, a road map. So we're back on live floor and we're seeing Dr. Tonkin has gone down and is treating the next lesion the same way that he did before. And he's passing the atherectomy device through the area of uh, narrowing. And uh, he's going all the way around, hopefully 360 degrees. You kind of concentrate on the area that shows the narrowing angiographically. So if it looks pretty good over to the uh, right of the screen, you probably won't do too much atherectomy in that region. But if you, um, if you uh, see a lot of narrowing on the other side, then that's what you're gonna concentrate on. And you can see the little cutter actually acts like a gauge. So you can tell how much plaque is sitting inside of the vessel. So they're gonna take that out. So what we're seeing right now on the screen is they're removing some more of that plaque. This is more of that bacon and cigarettes that we talked about earlier. We've shaved the inside of that vessel down and that's what's coming out right now. We, we've uh, made a few passes through that distal uh, lesion, Dr. Cleos. Can you pin that wire for me, Dr. Miles? Uh, and we're going to go ahead and uh, make a few more. We've still got a little bit of progress we can make there. Uh, and uh, and then I, I'm hoping we're going to be done. Uh, we'll obviously do some completion uh, pictures where we'll show everything very nicely and uh, hopefully everything will look good. Let's see here. Let's, let's just show that again, okay. uh, Scott, if you don't mind, just stay with us here for just a second and we'll, okay. we'll, we'll show just our last view and, and we can, you know, this is a directional device so we look like we've, we have some narrowing there uh, on the lateral part of the vessel. So we're going to go, Dan, will you activate that for me, please? Yeah, yeah, okay, right. we're going to go ahead and yeah, hit it and we're going to just take it right down through there slowly again, focusing on the lateral wall of the vessel. Okay, off. And let's do maybe one more. We'll just turn very slightly. And uh, he's basically, lesion is completely gone. Uh, it looks like a normal vessel at this point. Okay. Yeah, now the interesting, the, one of the points that, uh, you know, atherectomy, I, I'm always amazed at, at atherectomy being, a, you know, really the only modality that we have that effectively preserves or sometimes even improves the col collateral flow. It, it, it actually opens up branch vessels uh, as opposed to closing them off, which angioplasty and stenting can do. Uh, and you can see we've got, you know, we still have very good flow in the, in the branch vessels in that uh, area. I'm going to go ahead and take the catheter out just so we can get a better set of pictures. Actually, Scott, this while there's... A, if you, look, if you want to look at that, that uh, run there, Dr. Cleo's... Okay, let's go to the live fluoro again. Take a look at what Dr. Tonkin's trying to show us there. Okay, and that's the proximal thigh, and uh, Dr. Miles can uh, go to the previous uh, image. Dan, if you could do that for us, please, and then we'll show the, just yeah, go to the, the previous run. It shows the, uh, the distal thigh to the, the knee right there. Oh, that's okay. great. And now what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the, uh, the distal protection filter, the, ba the basket filter. So we're going to go down and usually do this you know, under careful direct uh, visualization. 
because we have to make sure that, pin that for me, we have to make sure that basket folds into our little retrieval catheter uh, and comes out smoothly. And we'll see if there's any debris in it. We can actually take that onto the back table again and see if we've captured anything. In, in, in most cases, we do. Uh, and it'll look exactly like the stuff that comes out in the atherectomy catheter, and it, and it would have otherwise ended up down in the, in the foot. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and advance the little retrieval catheter over the, the basket, and then the basket and the wire comes out. And we'll take a look at it on the back table and see if there's anything in there. We're just going to basically, I'm going to take a picture of the groin, then we're going to close, uh, we're going to close the groin with a, uh, a suturing device. God, I've got, I'm going to apply pressure up here. We've got a puncture in this artery, so it's arterial pressure the size of this uh, <coughs> catheter that's going into the skin here that we were working through. And what we're going to do is John's going to take that out. I'm going to apply some pressure to stop, hopefully stop any of the blood from coming back the puncture site while he gets the closure device in there. Okay, Dan, you got it? I got it. All right, mm -hmm. so we're leaving the wire in so we can uh, introduce the, uh, the perclose uh, suture. We just have we just have a good look at, at the the groin here. You can see this the small size of the the incision we made. Just a little nick in the skin. We have good hemostasis, and uh, that's the uh, that's the end of the procedure.